This year at their annual developer conference, Google I.O., Google announced and unveiled a new take on UI that they are calling Material U. Now, Google's material design language has been around for quite some time, dating all the way back to Android KitKat, which is 4.4, I think. And it's obviously evolved since then. With Material U, the evolution just continues by giving users a new colorful palette that's unique to individual people, along with a bunch of new textures and shapes that give the entire Android 12 experience this fluid and fresh look and feel that I frankly cannot wait to use on a daily basis. The best part of all this is that Google made it really clear that Material U wasn't just for Android. It's coming to smart displays and Chrome OS too. And in that spirit, we've put together some mock-ups of what this Material U experience might look like when it comes to Chrome OS. And the results are really fun to look at. So let's check it out. But before we get into all that, today's video is brought to you by NordVPN, and they're the VPN of choice for millions of users because they're awesome at what they do, and that's keeping your browsing safe and secure, whether you're at home or out and about. If you'd like to learn more about them and their services, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN, and there you can learn more and get started. First up, a huge shout out to Michael Perigo, our staff writer over at chromeunbox.com for putting together these mockups. Taking the design principles from Android 12 beta, he meticulously went through and reimagined the core parts of Chrome OS with this overhauled look and feel. No, this isn't official, and what we actually get when Google moves forward with Material U on Chromebooks could look different than what we've come up with here, but we think it's pretty close for sure. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it ends up looking very similar to what you're seeing here. So what all has changed? First up, you'll note the overall color palette and highlights with buttons and sliders. If Material U does what it's advertised to do, the UI will adapt to the background set by the user and the colors will be intelligently selected based on the look and feel of that image. You'll note the big change to the quick settings in the tray that make all the items look like what we're seeing in Android 12. Gone are the small round symbols replaced by big clear blocks. From a simplicity and cleanliness standpoint, I think this is a great move for phones and desktop as well. We also have an edit button that hopefully will make this section editable like it is in Android currently. Note the subtle changes in volume and brightness sliders as well. This is what these types of controls look like in Material U, and we have little doubt this is what form they'll take in Chrome OS as well. Above the tray, you see a cleaner notification area too. There's already work being started to reformat the notifications area on Chrome OS, so I wouldn't be surprised at all to see notifications on Chrome OS closely mimic those we see on Android 12 at this point, including notification grouping. As it stands right now, notifications on Chrome OS are really messy, and this is one of the places I think Material U will benefit users more than any other. Another part of the restyling we're seeing in this mock-up affects the internal settings menus. Compared to the stark all-white menus we have right now, this colorful look with the highlights matching the rest of the theme looks fantastic. Combined with the darker overall theme, the colors in the menu really help set everything apart. While we've waited a long time for a proper dark theme on Chrome OS, there's a chance it's been held up to accommodate material use coming arrival, and if that's the case, it'll be well worth the wait. Finally, this mock-up also includes the new productivity launcher that's being worked on right now on Chrome OS as well. Taking what we know about this change already, Michael added in the Material U tweaks, and we have a tight, simple launcher that makes so much more sense in a desktop environment. Since Chrome OS 70, Google has used this peaking launcher with the full screen app drawer. And while it makes sense on tablets, it feels so out of place on the desktop. Our hope is that we have this new, smaller, tighter launcher on desktop and the swipe up full screen launcher when you're in tablet mode. While we don't have any official info on the shelf icon placement that you're seeing in the mock up, the growing number of items on the right side of the shelf makes us wonder if Google will start shifting things back to the left when you're in desktop mode. That's what we went with in this mock-up, and I honestly think it's the right move. I'd love to see the left justified pinned apps and the new docked launcher on desktop with centered icons and a full screen swipe up launcher when you're on a tablet. Again, I feel the need to stress that this is simply a mock-up, not a leak or any kind of official render. While these do look convincing, the images are based completely on some changes we know are in the works for Chrome OS 
smashed together with what we know about the new Material U design language. I don't know about you, but I'd be really happy if Chrome OS adopts this look and feel in the fall when Android 12 launches. I think it'll be great to see design unity between all of Google's software, and I think some of these changes will make it easier for users to understand and use Chrome OS in the future. With new Pixel phones due later this year, I'd imagine it'll be a great time to give Chrome OS a new paint job to align it with Android 12. But for now, that's it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, get subscribed as well, and be sure you click the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted the next time we make a video just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.